It is no secret that historically women have been at a disadvantage. The success of women throughout history is phenomenal, so today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be taking a look at three female warriors, their work, their lives, and their strength. Scientists unearth tomb of 12-year-old girl. In 1988, a remarkable discovery was made. A warrior, clearly of a young age and partially mummified, though recent research suggests that the first glances may not have been all too accurate. Upon the initial excavation, the team of archaeologists, led by Marina Kilinovskaya and Vladimir Semyonov, found the partially mummified young warrior in the modern-day Tuva Republic, Russia. The first reports dubbed the remains as belonging to a teenage boy, skilled in combat, though our modern technological advancements are suggesting a quite different tale. The warrior's remains had been preserved incredibly well in its tomb, down to facial markings, including a wart still visible on the face. This provided a great starting point for research to be conducted. This facilitated a new discovery in 2020 that this warrior was female. Perhaps even more of a breakthrough are the indications that she could be one of the Amazon women warriors as depicted to us through Greek literature. Dating of the remains place the warrior at the start of the 6th century BCE, making her remains approximately 2,600 years old and yet remarkably well preserved. Alongside her remains were a number of burial artifacts that are typically seen only beside warriors. These items show honour and are typically battle items, such as an axe, arrows, wooden and bronze tips, and a three-foot birch bow. The warrior appears to have been laid to rest donning a jaboa fur coat, light brown attire, and a leather cap. So what had made the team initially misidentify the teen warrior as male? In many burials for women, there are beads and mirrors alongside the body, but the grave of this young fighter was without these embellishments. Marina, one of the lead researchers who now works at the St. Petersburg Institute of Material History Culture, was given the opportunity to conduct genetic testing on the remains, which would provide more information and possibly confirm, or as it turns out, contradict what we thought we already knew. She says the tests revealed to them details about the warrior that were previously not understood. Upon the findings, she described them as such a stunning result. Researchers working in the Laboratory of Historical Genetics, Radiocarbon Analysis and Applied Physics at Moscow's Institute of Physics and Technology performed these tests, specifically a paleogenetic analysis of the bones. By studying the genome, it has been estimated that the young warrior girl was just 12 or 13 when she passed. Perhaps more importantly, how she was buried and what she was buried with can tell us about the societal practices of Scythian society. However, a sociological focus diverts researchers back to literary works, myths and legends, and away from the more scientific, concrete answers. Homer's Iliad, written in the 8th century BC, outlines the last year of the Trojan War. It is an epic poem and features names you may be familiar with, such as Achilles. It is also thought to be the first time Amazon warriors are referred to in Greek literature. In the Iliad, Homer describes them as Antionera, though the meaning of this has been debated amongst scholars. Some suggestions as to possible translations include the opposite of men, antagonistic to men or the equal of men. Throughout the centuries, the existence of the Amazon warriors has been questioned, with many historians and figures alike doubting women could assume such high status, feared and respected roles. However, discoveries like this one, in which the burial style and chronology align with historical accounts, prove that these fearsome women were there and had an important role to play. A young girl, an Amazon warrior, has been found and her grave has helped fill in the history of those who fought alongside her. Ahotep I, Ancient Egyptian Warrior Queen Often an overlooked queen, Ahotep is one of the greatest Egyptian queens to have lived. Whilst we do not recite her name as frequently as we do Cleopatra or Nefertiti, her work was incredibly valuable to Egyptian society, and yet a great deal of her life continues to remain somewhat of a mystery. Still, 
The story that we have unraveled so far describes a strong, powerful woman, to say the least. Ahotep was born into a high-status family, royal, and in the courts. Daughter to a politically valuable queen, it is unsurprising Ahotep wanted to take a path of leadership too. Throughout her life, Ahotep moved her way through the courts, achieving a status higher than the princesses and becoming the mother to the pharaoh's children. It is believed that throughout her life, her political beliefs, ideologies, and actions reflected those of her fathers. However, after the death of the pharaoh, Sekhenenre Ta II, Ahotep's son took on the position, ending her own as pharaoh's wife. That is not to say she was ever complacent or worked purely domestically. Ahotep held an active role in battles and other military activities and events. She has been described as maintaining her own strength whilst holding the views and strength of a man. She rode a horse, held diplomatic views, and cared for the soldiers she was responsible for. We do not know what Ahotep's role officially was or if she ever did rule Egypt following the death of her son. We do know that her influence and role in the courts and the political scene was unusual for a woman and should not be dismissed. Researchers cannot determine when she passed away, though it is assumed to be under the reign of Thutmose I. Devastatingly, we may never know, as much of her grave was destroyed by research teams. In the mid-1800s, the expectations when excavating graves were far different to those in modern digs. With a clear goal to simply find the treasures people had been buried with in mind, the remainder of these graves were not treated with preservation nor the wondrous analysis we have today. The assumption is that in 1858, Auguste Mariette hired a team to excavate Dra Abu El Naga in which they found a Hotep's burial site, supposedly marked King's Great Wife, and removed the gold items she had been buried alongside. Many think the workmen unwrapped her and simply threw the bandages to the side, preventing modern research practices from finding out what other secrets are hidden within them. A hotep was buried with the ceremonial axe and jewellery that has since been recognised as a medal of sorts for soldiers with high ranks. So, following a haphazard excavation in 1858, the bones of this mysterious woman have disappeared. Some suggest she had been left in the desert, some believe she is on display in the Museum of Cairo. The life of this woman, whilst not fully known, appears to be remarkable, successful and full of achievements. Anne Bonny Despite what is shown on the Hollywood movie screens, in real life there are only a handful of known female pirates in all of history. One of these women was Anne Bonny. Very little is known about Bonnie's life, with her being born in approximately 1697 and believed, or rather presumed, to have passed away in 1733. She was an Irish-American pirate who worked in the Caribbean. The few details we have on her journey come largely from a book, A General History of Pirates, by Captain Charles Johnson. Her early life is thought to have been turbulent, with her mother passing away of typhoid fever when she was 12 her father dressing her as a boy for work, and her allegedly taking out a servant girl at the age of just 13. Between 1714 and 1718, it is thought that Bonnie, along with her then-husband James Bonnie, moved to Nassau, known as the Republic of the Pirates, a known English pirate sanctuary. Her husband became a governor's informant in 1718, reporting about local pirates and leading to many being arrested. It is safe to say that Anne Bonny disapproved of her spouse's work. The next stage of the immense life of Anne Bonny was her mixing in taverns, where she met John Rackham, sometimes referred to as Calico Jack. He offered to pay James Bonny, her husband, to divorce her so the pair could be lovers. James refused and Anne and Rackham fled together, where Anne would become part of Rackham's crew. Some sources suggest the crew knew Anne was a woman and would disguise herself in public. Others state only Rackham and a woman called Mary Reed knew of her gender, that is, until she got pregnant. Rackham and Bonnie married out at sea, and Bonnie fought boldly alongside the men without hesitation. This was until 1720, when Rackham's crew were attacked and imprisoned under a commission issued by the governor of Jamaica. The crew were sentenced to execution, though Bonnie and Reed 
used their pregnancies to postpone their sentence until they gave birth. Some say the last words Bonnie uttered to Rackham were, Had you fought like a man, you need not have been hanged like a dog. Reed died of a fever while imprisoned, but no one knows what happened to Bonnie, though she certainly was not executed. Did she die beside Reed? Did she escape? We may never know. Whilst not a woman living by the law, one of just a few known female pirates and maintaining a life of combat whilst concealing your gender is certainly somewhat impressive. From noble living to living outside the law, the journeys of powerful historical women are not often talked about, despite the incredible stories tied to their names. But what do you make of our three female warriors? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.